Hey, how's it going guys? It's Sound here, and today back here with more Magico. So, in the last episode, we got attacked by the, one of the German army. Um, lieutenants, I think it was. So, we've made a frenemy, so to speak. So, without further ado, let's kick off the show and see what more we can do. Right, a chew. But man, you gotta be stupid to do, to do something like that. What's the fun in peeping? <laughs> You're the one off your rocker here. We headed back to the hotel. Soaked from toe head to toe. We head to the hot spring to warm up. Rivers in May are way too cold. Moro, what's wrong? Just leave me alone. Oh, I took a look at that foreskin problem of his. Ah. In a way, I'm glad we weren't here for that. It will happen in time. Just be patient and take it easy, Moro. So you went down to Moro's crotch? Well, at least it's not disease or anything. I do get how you feel, though. I completely understood how embarrassing it was for other people to see you down there. <laughs> Why the first person besides myself have to touch it have to be a guy? All I could do was salute him. Achoo! Uh, Yamato needs warmth badly. They were all sharing the room. Chris proposed we divided it down the middle. Um, divided it down the middle with boys on one side and girls on the other. If any boy crossed over the line into the girl's side, he'd be captured and subjected to all kinds of torture. That didn't really matter to me since I would never do such a thing. Why wasn't there, met Why wasn't there a penalty if one of the girls did the same? It was the night before marriage, but nor of the Chetu, not a creature was stirring, it said Miyako. After all, one girl was after my chastity. Hey Miyako, no sneaking into my bed. <laughs> it's too late. I'm already in here. Make a peep and everyone will know I'm here. And if that happens, I'll tell Shit's Tales what you did to me. Every word would be a lie. But maybe you should be quiet, eh? Hey. Why do you sound like a rapist from some trashy hentai manga? Come on, give up. You can't win. No, stop. I'm not feeling well. I just wanted to sleep. I had to deal with Mi Miyako's assault first. And that was no easy task. Achoo! You sneezed. See? I told you I'm not feeling well. I'll nurse you. Give me your cold. Get out of my futon. That was enough to finally argue her down and force her to retreat. Ugh. Did not feel sick though. I did feel sick though. Really sick. How was I going to beat Chris tomorrow with my body like this? We'll find out. May 5th on a Tuesday. How many, how many days do we actually have here? Breakfast at the hotel was an all-you-could-eat buffet. I couldn't believe how many plates I saw in front of the Kawakami of Kawakami Kazuko. Oh, this ham is great, and the fish is good too. Wonko, this milk's supposed to be fresh from the cow. Ah, nice and creamy. Here, let me get that milk mustache for you. May and May wiped it away from it with her finger, then licked it. Still, I did, did not truly comprehend the size of your appetite until I saw the number of plates you have here. I can only manage the second serving of rice. I think that to be quite a bit of food as well, Mayuchi. 
そこそこ比例するものさ。With a real core election between strength and appetite. 4手ぐらいに起きて山の中で修行してきたもん。I love you know that I've been training in the mountains since daybreak. まあ自分も朝練はしているが。Well, I also train in the mornings. あたしから言わせればクリが少ないって。If you ask me, you don't train nearly enough. Quickly eating mountains of food is considered the virtue in Edo. Japan is truly incredible. But my stomach cannot handle that much food. Wonko, what do you want next? Oh, can you get me some vegetables? May I have too much meat? Hmm, well, that's some eggs. She cracked the eggs one after another. I cannot imagine you ever getting sick. Yep, that's the plan. Every day she trains fearlessly, eats her fill, and then sleeps as much as she wants. Leaving no opening for any god of pestilence to sneak in. If any tried, I'd cut them down. You have such good manners, Mayuchi. Yeah, your parents must have raised you right. It is it that impressive? Well, given that we have such a stark comparison. <laughs> Table manners back home are a bit more. wild. You hold chopsticks perfectly, Chris. Thank you. An aunt of mine, aunt of my friend, taught me in Germany. Meanwhile, instead of our classmate Ugushi, I see people like him using chopsticks incorrectly. It bothers me immensely. Eh? Huh? But you've never eaten with him. Those things catch my attention. Wild though a dog may be, she is capable with her chopsticks. Well, there's no need to concern yourself with how Ogushi uses chopsticks. He is not one of us. What he does doesn't matter. This is rather stodic. Oh, dog, are you going to eat the smelt's head? Yeah, I'll convert all of it into energy. Curie, there's a lot of edible pieces left on your grilled horse mackerel. So, so, truly? Look at Miyuchi's plate. She ate every last bit. You are right. In comparison, mine looks sloppy. I even ate the eyes. Truly, I'm a bit of a beginner at this. I think it's amazing how well you fit in in Japan after only being here a few weeks. Yeah, don't worry about it. You can learn little by little. Did you master San still asleep? If he doesn't get up soon, he's gonna miss breakfast. When the other boys will wake him up and bring him down. I think I'll go and check up on him. Meanwhile, in the hotel room. Oh, oh the thermometer's got my temperature. 38.1 Celsius? I've got a cold for sure. Ah, you've done it now. 
Must be because you dove into the river. If that were true, I'd have a cold as well. Yeah, I'm perfectly healthy. You don't count since you're so stupid. <laughs> I laugh at the pitiful excuses of the week. Here's a coupon for the gym. Take the chance to build up some muscle. Really, this is your fault for dragging me along with you. So what's the plan? Still up to take on Chris? Not with the fever, he isn't. You need to cancel. I think she would cancel first if she knew I was sick. But either way, taking care of my body is all a part of the competition. The loss would be just my dessert. Yeah, but even if I call it to the running, a loss is a loss. Screw that. I challenged her, so I have to win. Couldn't you ask for a postponement? The Goku caused this, so you can make him take responsibility. Take responsibility how? ガイアに自分を捧げるとか言って裸になって庭に飛び出したから全力で止めたせいで風邪をひいたとかどうかな。だから、ゴーツランアウトインツザナイトネイキッド。スクエアはアップイングセルフトガイア。ユチェイスア
Oh well. But if you start looking really sick out there, we'll call it a match. Someone's there. Who's a ninja, who's a ninja eavesdropping on us? Meow. Oh, it's just a cat. Something's wrong here. I can't catch usually rap when they meow. <laughs> Will you actually stop being ridiculous and come out here? Uh, okay. I think you are sadistic as they come. I'm flexible, what can I say? The Miyuchi, you heard everything? Um, I only come to get you guys, but uh... Okay, that's a yes. I have a quest for you. Uh, request? Oh yes, please. I'd love to. Name whatever you like. Can you keep my card a secret? But, 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 I mean, to fight like you are, that would be... Yeah, I know I'm pushing myself, but I don't want to lose. Please keep it a secret. Oh, but... Hey, don't you go try any impossible. It ain't good for you. What sort of intellectual goes and makes himself sicker because he's too proud to back down? See? Even Matsukazi thinks it's a bad idea. It'll be our little secret. Uh, uh, alright. No, put her on the spot. 9am on the riverbank. Chris and I are ready to face off. Our friends lined up to watch. There's going to be a one-on-one duel between Chris and Yamato. Cap, Cap and I are the judges and organizers. Let's rock. You still feeling slightly under the weather? Uh, There's nothing I can't handle. Let's do this. You did seem a bit off last night. I'd probably be fine if it weren't for you, Miyako. What's wrong? Do you have a stomachache? No, it isn't that, but I'm worried. It's not like the fight to the death, it's just a competition. Yamato-san, you seem to be doing better now that you've taken the cold medicine, but even so... Cap and I spent the whole three minutes thinking about how to make this a fair duel. So after all that, we figured we ought to go with a small scale Kawakami war. A war? That sounds like it could be a tremendous sort of fight. In China, it's called Tong Wan's game. Do you know about it, Miyako-san? ドカンという原水がいて、彼が敵国の領土の間でやっていたものなんだけど。It's he is able to determine the superior force of our deaths and is... No fair, Miyako. Explaining it is my job. There you go again. It's a system that can be used when two classes want to go at it. First you write up all the things you can do and throw them into a box. Then we'll throw one at draw one at one random. Bingo. Whatever you draw, that's how you'll fight. 
We keep on going so someone wraps up five wins. What sort of events are in there? All things for intelligence, strength, and creativity, and so on. It's all in there. Some things you're good at, and some things you're not. you got to be well rounded to win. It's normally a group battle, with each side picking a champion for each match. But here, you two will face enough in Eve every round. What if five consecutive matches are all disadvantage to you? There's an even number of each, and they're all jumbled up. You won't get that unlucky. And, then, and even if you did, looks just another part of the game. I mean, there yeah, this one time when I won five free popsicles in a row. You forgot the part where you ate all of them and felt sick to your stomach. And then, we went on the bus then and my stomach hurt like hell. Wonka was sitting next to me and I must have begged her a hundred times to end my pain. That must have been an awful time for Doug as well. Were you okay in the end? Yeah, I told him to hang in there like a gazillion times. <laughs> you were crying your lungs out over me. Of course I was. He kept asking me he's okay to cross the finishing line now. I was so scared. We got off topic, but the point is looks a part of the game too. We good? If since the match had multiple rounds, luck or draw should not be an issue. No problems here either. Then I'm a bit worried about what events you brought you two fought up. First, play rock, paper, scissors to see who draws first. Is there any merit into doing so? Some of the slips of paper have two events on them. The drawer gets to choose which of the two they want to do. Then drawing one extra one yourself gives you an advantage. Understood. Let us begin, Yamato. Rock, paper, scissors. Chris, I'll be throwing scissors. What? What the hell would he tell me his next move? Incomprehensible. What advantage would that gain him? Oh? He must be lying then. He's trying to bait me into throwing rock so we can counter with paper. A brazen trick. We're not to seed as I use scissors myself. Chris scissors, Yamato rock. What? Jeez, that was too easy. You really are predictable. I cannot stand this. I cannot stand you, Yamato. She stomped her feet in frustration. But that means Yamato won the opening skirmish. It's because her thoughts are so predictable that Yamato thinks he can win this match. And he'd easily be right if not for that, for that cold. I, I think I should stop this after all. What if, that, what if that makes him angry at me? 
Okay, little bro. You ought to decide the first match. I stuck my hand in the hole at the top. You, you put it in there? How lucky am I today? To look around inside. <laughs> You're staring inside? Someone stop her from fantasizing. Miyako! Miyako, stop. Oh, did you clock your tongue? You think you can take that attitude with me? Well? Now, now, okay. I'll choose this red paper. Let's see. Wow, bro. You got some amazing luck. What is it? Give me a quiz or something intellectual. Chain death match. Chain death match. Just kill me now. I could only laugh. Of all things, a fight. Now what? <laughs> this is fun, would you not agree? Give up, you lose if you give up or go outside the line. To draw a circle on the ground is about the size of a sumo ring. It's a normal chain death match, so no special rules. Holds illegal. Isn't that great? It's a legit excuse to fuel her up. <laughs> what? How rude of you, Yamato. I didn't say anything. I was pretty sure that tasteless joke had made my cold worse. Events aren't all like this, right? Nah, that's the worst one for you, and you drew it yourself. Ah, man, it's getting hard to focus. Luck abandoned you as your punishment for your unhanded, underhanded tactics. Come on, Yamato, let me see your arm. I've got to get you chained up. Let us see if you have any grit. Chris and I were chained together by wrists. Let's start round one. Get ready? Fight! Huh. Chris even know this is the match. What? I've never hit a girl. Did you ridicule me by refusing to see me as a warrior, Yamato? We battle with our prides on the line. There's no need to hold back. Fight me. I know I've been a stubborn fool, but I'll say it again. I would never hit a girl. So I'll have to beat you in the next round. I give up. The curtain falls on the battle. Round one goes to Chris. What? This is not a true victory. There's plenty of other ways to compete, but I won't lose again. If you're not satisfied, you just wait and see what I'll bring in the next round. Let's also over to Miyako-san, who's doing color commentary. Anything to say about the battle? Well, let's consider what Yamato's game plan was for the first round. Since he knew he couldn't win in the fight, he threw in the tower early. He also knew his opponent would be upset by this, so he weaseled out as an explanation. That makes sense, Yamato, you sneak crafty devil. Uh, let's move on. Next round. Chris would normally be riding the thrill of victory, but not today since she's seething from that easy win. 
Here, Curie, draw away. I picked something fun. Hmm, I picked this one. Oh, this will be a fair match. Paint a picture. Painting. Well, I'm an average artist, I guess. I also have only a little experience. To keep it fair, your theme would be Mayuchi. Huh? You're, you're going to draw me? Anyone else and Yamato have had an edge since he's known us for so much longer. Oh well, if that's the case... Can you take your clothes off? We're looking for a nude portrait. You want me to pose for my birthday suit? This is so sudden. My heart's beating so fast. He's obviously messing with you. Do whatever feels normal. Of course, the paints and brushes you can need. You got one hour. The judge will be Mayuchi yourself. Begin. Hmm. Namuchi, would you please stay still? Uh, how should I pose? Personally, I think I look best while you're holding a sword. Just be yourself. Uh, I guess. I was too focused on drawing to say anything. Hmm, Yamato, your eyes are so intense. But I will not lose. I'll give it my all. I want it on the fun. I'm going to join. And so an hour flashed by. Great, let's start with Chris's. Show us what you got. This is somewhat embarrassing, but behold. Chris had beautifully depicted Miyuchi standing alone at the water's edge, her long hair caught in the wind. Wow, I can't believe it. You made me look so beautiful. You have to exaggerate, it's quite embarrassing. However, I did put my heart into it. I can tell. Thank you very much, Chris san. Wow, Chris's painting really is good. At this point, I'd expect Chris to be able to handle anything. Yamato might be going down. Here's my painting. I depict her smiling in joy, with all the rest of us surrounding her. Mine may, may have been a few more happy little accidents than Chris's, but... Ah. Uh... I look so happy in your painting. Chris-san, what you're painting is truly is wonderful. No look at Yamato-san's. I can feel tears welling up, welling, welling up in my eyes. You are the judge. The decision is yours to make. Okay, I prefer Yamato-san's painting. And Yamato wins the paint off. That puts me on the board. It's 1-1 one, one now. We are tied. Naturally, I knew from the start what kind of painting I needed to win. Miyuchi had lived her whole life without friends. 
What could give her more joy than seeing herself surrounded by her new ones? I would not by being the better painter, but by being the better friend. Oh, this has got nothing to do with the match, but here's how mine turned out. A, a photo? Wait, no, you painted this? I lose. You're far too talented, Cap. Cap would have won in a three way match. Thank goodness I was facing off Chris and not him. But I knew one day I was going to beat him. Okay. I can't let that get to me. Time to draw for round three. My gut says you're going to pick something strange. After all, you're the funny one. I think you're confusing me with a Guto. I slapped the paper I had drawn into her hand. Are you sure? Hmm. Another fair match. It's a test of courage, but I came up with this one. And now, I was worried. At least for the moment, the medicine was still working. I had to start this match before it wore off. You're looking worse now, Yamato-san. Uh, um... You need something? Nature calls? N no it's nothing. I'll explain the match. Listen up. Interrupt me, and you've enjoyed some dislocated bones. Here I've got some Pocky, the long, thin chocolate snacks. You put one end of it in your mouth and have someone on the opposite sex do the same. Then they'll start eating away at it. Meaning their face will be getting closer to yours. How long can you resist, however? How long can you resist? Whoever pulls away from the pocket first loses. Wait, that's just an icebreaker at a mixer. <laughs> and if you don't look the other person in the eyes while you eat, it doesn't count. I feel this is in fact disadvantage to me. I agreed, given how pr prudish she was. Maybe luck was on my side. I could win this. Nah, the man's gonna feel just as awkward. That's not the wide grin you have there, Yamato. No, no, that's not true. So I'll go first? Hey, Wonko. Stop doing the squats and come hither. <laughs> What's a hither? Just get over here. Okay, what's up, Yamato? Why don't you leave on your side, nice and slowly? Put one end of the pocket in my mouth and point to the other, other end towards her. <laughs> Yummy! Wonko didn't even blink. She slowly drew closer. If Wonka is my partner, this is a cinch. Wonka must not have felt uneasy either. Even though she edged closer, she kept up a steady pace. She put her hands on my shoulder and wanted to take the last bite. But the last possible moment, I took my lips off the pocky. That's how you do it. That was delicious. What's next, Yamato? Nah, that's it. You can go back to your squats now. Not bad, but that doesn't count. Why not? Who said you got to pick your partner, you idiot? This time grabbed my head, the fingers pushing against my skull. Meaning? I'll pick, I'll pick your partner's fairly. You're pair pair pairing up with... Not her. Anyone but her. It wouldn't be much fun otherwise. Miyako, Miyako you're up. She fidgeted.
Even though this is a game, if our lips touch, you'll have to take responsibility by marrying me. The world darkened before my eyes. What's wrong, little bro? You're not giving up already, are you? Nah, I'll do it. I can't back out twice. Good, that's what I like to hear. Then you so you put it in your mouth first. Okay, open wide. No matter what happens, I can't let our lips touch. I put the pocket in my mouth and stood ready. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Get going, Miyako. The timer doesn't start until you do. There's no need to rush. I have to pay my heart for this. So you can give me a minute. So we pause for a minute and change. Me with the pocket instead of my mouth. It's been over a minute. Let's get this party started. Get into position. Here I go. Start. <laughs> I felt a wave of blood, blood, blood thirstiness wash over me. Miyako didn't even chew. She just swallowed it whole. She rushed at me fast if she were going for a headbutt. I bet it got out in the nick of time. Oh, that was close. But you weren't supposed to wolf it down. That was so close. I say you matter lasted for exactly a second. <laughs> and if the left over a second, Chow's play. You would have kissed me if I didn't dodge. How is that fair? Nah, it's perfectly fair, little bro. After all, Kyo is partnered with. Oh, that's fair. See here? This is the this is the plate that you had in your mouth for the whole minute, Miyato. Miyato Miyato showed me the end of my snack. What about it? <laughs> okay. Miyako slowed away like a kitten at a bowl of milk. I immediately reached for my phone and dialed a familiar number. Hello, this is the Golden Weeks Teenagers Hotline. I'm being stalked by a female childhood friend. Oh, a stalker? Yes, she's got a pretty face, no doubt, but she can't be trusted. Just the other day she woke me up with shoving her bongs in my face. If you want to brag, do it somewhere else. I plan to move in with this girl, even went to the room. Then she said she lived with someone else. I haven't seen her since. He flipped out, then hung up. <laughs> I've been abandoned by the country. I hope to abandon. How ironic. I'll not abandon you. I'll dot on you every need. I ignored her. Then it is my turn. I will easily outlast a second. Hey, who should my partner be? Oh, she's looking my way. Cap, could I ask you? I should have known. I told you, in this game you don't get to pick your partner. That's not how it works. The, then... Your partner with Mr. Nice Guy, Gakuto. Yes, it's me. Where is your shirt? Oh, 
This is proof of my masculine seriousness. Can't you feel it? I'm serious too. I can feel my nipples tingling. <laughs> I've heard about this game, but never had the chance to play. Well, I could say the same. I'm glad I'm doing this with you. Okay, put it in your mouth. Don't you love the creepiness? That's what makes this game great. Tomorrow, make sure we take a great picture of your phone. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Chris, let's get started already. Come on, open your mouth. I cannot do this. The thought is far too disgusting. Chris blasted Kaguto in the chin with a palm heel punch. Oh, nice. Critical hit. But that puts your record at zero seconds. You didn't even put your lips on it. I feel for you, Chris. That still means I won the round. We're not done yet. I need only score. I need. I need to even the score in the next round. Things are about to get worse since the medication was wearing off. Hmm. Yamato, are you alright? Maro well, could tell too. I gave him a look saying I'd be fine. This is what I drew. Oh, we finally got a heart pounding moment. Your choices are Karuto or Chilo. Chilo? It's an adventurous gambling game. You take three dice and... I would pass on gambling. Who knows what Yamato will get up to? We will compete in the Kuta game instead. Good. Nevertheless, looks like your looks ran out. I know some of the poems. I should have a good shot. Doesn't Yamato know all 100 poems? These games are a speciality. Cap quickly grabbed the sheet and laid a hundred cards upon it. You know the rules, Kuri? Yes. I played karate a little before. Great. Then this is your time to study. Memorize where every card is. Yeah. Shit, I was getting dizzy. I couldn't stop now. I just had to hope my body could hang in there. Go hmm, all you want, I thought. I was going to dominate this match. Memorize locations of all, but a few of the most difficult to match cards. Then I'll be your, I'll be your grateful, graceful reader of the poems. You two ready? You may start whenever you will. I'm good too. Deva Ikuzo Om Nanoko Miniska Haite Mubobio Harukaze Wobatsu Wagami Asamashi Kawakami Momo. Let's go. Girls in miniskirts. Shamelessly, I stare and wait for a gust of wind by Kawakari Memorial. Very impressive. <laughs> I could be a poet if I do say so myself. Hmm. You're still staring at the cards? Wow, that's some concentration, little bro. You better take her seriously, or you're going to lose. 
I intend to hold back nothing. Then it's serious time. The real game starts now. Oh. Got it. That was quick. Huh? But whoa. Chris got the card, right? Yeah, she's good. Um, only one poem starts with Su, right? So she knew it just by starting sound. No, Maro. That's not what I was doing. She acted earlier based solely on the initial S sound. She would hover her hand over the cards as soon as she had heard the initial S. She ready herself to hit whichever of the three poems that it could have been. I did tell you I adore Japanese culture. I see. I'm a little shocked. Nuata's looking a bit bad. You think his fever's back? Oh, you know it's too? Yeah, I think he's struggling out there. In the end, I lost massively against Chris. The fourth round goes to Kuri. I would have lost even without the cold. You're good. <laughs> Your face is red. Are you that enraged? She said at me de she said at me definitely. A hunger for victory in her eyes. I couldn't wait to knock her off a perch. So it's 2 2 now? This is intense. Yamato. Yamato, do you have a fever? Oh, let me feel your forehead. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I can't stay quiet any longer. Matsukazi, I'm going to stop him. Go, Miyuchi. You've got this. Give your life like a bike and put the pedal to the metal. Climb that mountain, but don't stop or else you'll fall off. But, Miyuchi, what are you doing? Um, Yamato didn't get, didn't get a fever just now. It's an awfully high fever since the start. Hey, Miyuchi! He took medication to keep his fever low enough that he could fight. Shut up! Well, I can't stand to watch this any longer. Is a friend someone you let fight when he's sick? No, it can't be. A friend should be... Um... I don't really know, but... This isn't right, so... All I want is for you two to get along. W wow. Mayuchi. I'm sorry. I know you want to hear that from someone as new as me. But I... I had to say something. Nah, you did good. Yeah. We don't want you holding anything back on us. Huh? Bro, is she telling the truth? Sheesh. You go on about the stupidest things. But then when you're in trouble, you keep it all to yourself. If I said something, I've been doomed to defeat. Screw that. Like Mitri said, we should be friends, but to do that, Chris and I need this fight. 
There's no other way she will ever accept me. So come back down. My pride depends on it. I understand completely. You're a true man, Yamato. You're such a kid. <laughs> it's been ages since the last seen you acting this childish. Regardless, I can't let things end like this. Miyuchi, I'm sorry for making you worry. It it could have been couldn't have been fun watching me out here. Chris, I have an idea. Say it. We're tied 2-2 right now. Let's ride it all the way to the next round. We feel shifting from a first to five to a first to three. I see no reason to object. That's the deal, Miyuchi. We're short in the match. So let me have the one last round, please. Uh, Alright. If this means that much to you. Sorry. Where to go, Miyuchi? Huh? Next time you got something on your mind, scream it from the rooftops. You ain't gonna hold back just because you're a year younger. So, so. Yes, exactly. All your timidity does is worry us. I think you shook the perfect balance just now. Uh, okay. C could it be? Did they accept me? I think you probably have the right idea. Gakuto-san? You did it, Miyuchi. You plucked his nose here. Why does nothing you say make sense? Yes, I did. Wait, you got that? Thank you very much. Wait, so with that same look on your face. But the next match will be our last. Indeed. Draw away, Yamato. I'm in a tough spot, but I can still win this. I prayed to God for luck as I drew. A downhill sprint from the summit. This is what I get for praying when I need something. Oh man. Everything's on the line and you drew that? It's a race from the observation deck at the summit all the way back here. How can Yamato win that? We thought that through. There are two checkpoints set up halfway down the mountain. You need to go to one of them, answer a question there, and get a signed ball. We will be quizzed, and intellect is acquired as well. Yep, the checkpoint along the road has tough questions, while the one out in the woods has easy ones. It's your pick. Where and how you run is up to you. As long as you don't catch a ride, interfering with your opponent is also banned. What if you do not know the answer to a question? Just ask for a new one. Same thing if you get it wrong, however. You have to wait one minute before you get to get to the next question. A full minute is quite the loss. I cannot take them lightly. The categories will be world history, Japanese history, general trivia, math, and physics. You choose whichever you want. 
Also, you can name a partner. A partner? They have someone to help you on the quizzes or to cross the finish line for you. Either you or your partner, whoever it is, must get the sign ball past the goal's finish line to win. So if I wanted, I could lose everything to my partner. Sure, a win's a win. I'll be chilling at the goal while Miyuchi and Moro are handling checkpoints. Whether Senpai and Guto will be the race to judges. Huh? But that leaves... One of these two will be your partner. Yay! Yay! Or happily rely on either of them. Flip a coin, Yamato. You get one cup of his heads and Miyako of his tails. Stop trying to curse me. It will only backfire. No, bro. You'll know what will happen if you try and rig the flip, right? Oh, uh, then fine. Heads. You're the worst. What do you want from me? The odds were 50 50. Excuses are so lame. And now she was sulking. Let's do our best, Yamato. I've run at full power. Yep, ruin this to win it. Miyako, are you thinking about going easy so that Yamato might win? That's a good idea. Then this is rigged. Now relax. I won't sully this match. You have my full support. So, so I, I see. <laughs> we'll defeat Yamato, and when he's at his lowest, I'll be there to console him. A dark chill ran up my spine. It must be Miyako. Alright then, to the summit. This race is already getting annoying. I tried walking, but mine was out of it. But I could still put, on, put one foot in front of the other. And I could do so as a decent clip too. Everything came down to my teamwork with one girl. Yamato-san. Yamato-san? I'll be okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, you even sound sick now. Now is your last opportunity to stop. But you're not backing down now, right? Japanese men don't back down. That's a man's spirit right there. Pride, you say? When I care about winning, I take pride in knowing I can, I can and will. And right now, I care a lot. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. But I'm afraid I'm going to shatter that pride of yours. Chris looked truly ready. So Chris, what do we do? What's the plan? Will you be able to follow my pace all the way? I think you'd beat me in endurance. Then one we'll, with me to full speed to the closest checkpoint. Why don't you help me, help me with the quiz as you handle the rest? A straightforward plan. Alright, you have a checkpoint it's too far anyways. Do you have any idea what Yamato team would do? If it's cold, when you have to rely on Wonko? Indeed, he surely will not be able to run far on his own. Sounds like they're coming up with a plan. 
Himatsu, I saw you grab that map. Let me see. Ah. Hmm. You can go for the woods here and here. That sure could be way better than trying to follow the road. It's good to see you haven't been running through the mountains for nothing. Ain't I super dependable? Absolutely. This will really help us out. We'll make it to the nearby checkpoint in no time. That sounds good. Leave the rest to me. Listen, you need to hurry head to the checkpoint along the road. I'm using the same shortcut and going as fast as I can. I need to start attempting the quiz as soon as you get there. Alright, and I'll call you as soon as I'm there? Yeah, that way I'd have to physically be present to answer the quiz. We're out here in the mountains. There's no guarantee we'll have signal. So I'll hurry to the checkpoint too. Okay, I can remember that. Additionally, in the event we're both there to solve the quiz. I have five different plans depending on the situation. Memorize them. Five? Can I bring it down to the last three? <laughs> Five's too many. Nope, you're gonna have to do your best to remember all five. <laughs> Don't scare me. Fine, I'll try and remember. I'll repeat them until we get to the peak. Listen closely. He's single mindedly whispering something in Dog's ear. Shit. Shit. Why can't that be my ear? Are you certain you're on my side? Do you have them all down? What's plan four? Uh, when a breakneck speeds down the mountain road? That's plan five. Come on. I flicked their forehead. I'm sorry. Uh, um, I got this. The platform is where we get ahead of them, so we keep things easy and go straight along the road. Yeah, it's nice and simple, but well done remembering. I kindly pat kindly patted her head and gave her a meat. Delicious. I know you can do this. You're the best. I'm counting on you. Yep, I can do it if I try. Okay, let's keep going. What's plan two? I got this. Do you need another flick on the forehead? I remember. Just give me a second. I spent every minute before the round started running one kill. Meanwhile... Maru and Miyuchi arrived at their checkpoints. This is out of the view checkpoint. I'll see this task through. After all, I feel so energized right now. You've got the spirit, you've got the drive. Watch out world, it's Miyuchi time. Meanwhile, on the mountaintop. I'll be responsible for overseeing this match. If Mata starts looking too ill, I'll stop it there and then. Okay, I'll leave that decision to you, Nissan. Chris, this is all for the marbles. I raised my fist to her. I accept the challenge. Chris bumped her fist into mine. Alright, final round, go! I'm with you. I'm going as fast as I can. Little bro. Good luck. I'll be a fair judge, but I'm cheering you on. Just you wait, Nissan. I picked this battle. I'm going to win. I followed after the girls. <laughs> you really do hate to lose. 
What? You went into the woods? Well done, dog. He's probably taking the shortcut. What should you do, Miyako? Do you know the way through the woods? To be honest, no. Regardless, she will surely struggle with the quiz. We should keep steadily going along the road. Agreed. I'm sure you might have used the shortcut as well. This might be close. The checkpoint along the road. Yay! I'm first! Whoa, I didn't see you there. Where'd you come from? The mountains in my backyard. Tomorrow, ask me a question. Okay, first time in the category you want. I don't know why, but physics. Given one mole, given one mole of an ideal gas with pressure P, volume V, and potential T in Kelvin, use Boyle's law and Charles' law too. Hey, speak Japanese. Why did you pick physics in the first place? Are you stupid? Oh, Yamato is calling. Are you there? Tell me what the question is. Um, it's about boilers on the mole? You were supposed to choose Japanese history. What was that, physics? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm on my way. Well, we have to wait a minute for the next question. Uh, this minute is going to take forever. And that's a minute. Okay, what category would you like next? Japanese history. Oh wait, I'll call him first. Now you can tell Yamato the question directly. Uh, his phone's out of range of the towers. I guess I have to do it myself. And here's the question. Who's the first team shogun of the Edo shogunate? Nope. Don't change the history. You should at least know the Tokugawa's rule during the Edo Shogunate. <laughs> why do minutes take so long? Checkpoint. There's the checkpoint. Uh, they call up. Chris, what history should we choose? World history? My choice is Japanese history, of course. Why am I not surprised? The eighth shogun of the Edo shogunate, Tokugawa Yoshimuni, okay, how do you say that? Worked hard to establish the prince, the, pr the price of rice. Therefore, what do people call him? That's an easy one. <laughs> Victory would be, in, victory would be ours. Who's lend me the honors? Okay, go ahead. The, the violent shogunate? Incorrect. Please wait one minute for your next question. No, they called him the rice shogun. They did? Oh. Perhaps this is not my forte. I'll handle this. We'll go for plan two. Plan two. Understood. Commence an operation. Huh? Why did Kirby leave? Oh, is she going for the other checkpoint? I cut through the woods and reached the checkpoint. No, oh, Wonko, how's it going? 
Neither of us has yet to get one. But it's almost my turn again. Q was here a little while ago. We should left. Where'd she go? She ran down the road. So maybe the other checkpoint? That place is simply too far away. Going there would be stupid. Right? She's probably not even there yet. Yamato, are you sure you're not too sick? You look a bit... I'm a guy. I can handle it. Yamato, it's time for your question. Japanese history? Yeah, I hate physics. You can hit me with anything else. One of the third and eighth articles of the Joe Shikimoku about. The third article con concerns duties of the pun punishable constables, and the eighth article concerns deeds to the land. Well done, that's right. Here's the sign ball. There's a baseball with needs Nissan's signature on it. Well, it's been a minute for me too. Western history, please. Oh, so this is the ball. You're amazing, Yamato. We've won now. Yeah, even if Miyako gets it right, I can outrun her. Which Roman Republic politician was assassinated by pro Caesar forces? I don't know that one. That's right. Here's the sign ball. Well done yourself, Miyako. Okay, Miyako, let's race. It's all on you, Wonko. Your lack of urgency will cost you the match. Huh? Kristen... Kristen go to the checkpoint, but rather much further down the mountain. That's all I have to do now. Shoot, Wonko, plan free, now. But, huh? We've got this in the bag. Let's throw the ball. Miyake threw the ball into the distance. And where did it fall? He caught it clearly. Excellently done, Miyako. I'm glad to have you as my partner. Oh no. Kiri must have caught the ball down below. Won't go quickly start running down the road. The only condition for winning is for one player to cross the finish line with a ball in hand. Not bad. You had this planned out ever since you found out the item was a ball? If I had my bow and arrow, I could have shot it even further. Chris has too much of a lead. I guess that's that. <laughs> it's not your fault. Miyako. You, you did well for having a cold. There, there. I'll nurse you and console you. You can leave it to me. Uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. You're running away again. Are you feeling alright? Can you load the zipper by yourself? Don't worry. Just don't follow me, pervert. You meanie. What I want was to lower your pants. I could have accidentally pulled down your underwear too, and then she got lost in her own fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense dog making a noble attempt to overtake me. We should be 250 meters away. This ought to be easy. Oh goodness, she fell. Is she alright? Hmm, she stood up. She must be alright. Huh? Oh, 
She's running too slowly, and with a limp. Dog, did you hurt yourself? They have no longer have anything to worry about. This would be a nice refreshing jog. Yamato's late. How far did he go? Huh? I really thought you'd figure out sooner, Miyako. Did you know the whole time, Moro? I watched it happen. Why are you through your ball? Wanko gave hers to Yamato. So Yamato has the ball. Yamato then hit the ball into his clothes. But I don't understand. If Onka's at her heels, Chris would never run anything less than her full pace. What point of then switching? I got a text from Guto earlier. He was worried about one kill. He saw her trip and hurt herself on the road. If Chris saw the same thing. Then she might relax and take it easy. After all, she's obviously convinced Wonka has the ball. I have to call the phone. But I don't know Chris's number. No matter how many shortcuts he takes, he shouldn't be able to outrun Chris. But Yamato's my hero. He just might be able to do it. Your desire to win is fine against your desire to see him excel, isn't it? I sprinted through the woods. <laughs> Honestly, my call has gone so bad I can barely think. I couldn't stop. If I did, I didn't know if I could start it running, running again. I won't lose. Chris had taken me lightly, so I decided to pulverize her so that she'd never think that way again. Raw stubbornness was all that kept me going. I knew in my heart that trick wouldn't cause her to, dras to drastically slow down. So in the end, everything depended on me. I, and it filled up myself, all covered in sweat. Thank goodness nobody was watching. Why did I care so much about that at the time like this anyways? Those stupid thoughts occupied my mind as I ran. And... I'm here. This was the place where Nisa and the throne me into the river. Diving into the river from here would be a massive shortcut. But it was too far down, and they feel how, how cold rivers were, not to mention the fever. I hesitated for a moment, but... My unwavering will can provide us a journey onto the darkness. It was one of my favorite sayings. This is stupid, but I still don't want to lose. I screamed as I jumped. Chris, this way. You win once you tag me. <laughs> There's a goal. Dog is a long way behind me. Sick that you may have been, you fought poorly, Yamato. Yamato, this way. You win once you tag me. Huh? Why did you be addressing Yamato? I did not see him. Then she spotted me running from the river. Huh? Why? Yes, Doc has the ball, so... She turned around. Right behind her, she saw Kazuka smiling ear to ear. What have I done? Chris broke into a full on sprint. But she was too late. I'm gonna win. Huh? You're gonna jump on me? Hey, don't avoid him. Ugh, fine. Bring it on. Chris reached out her hand, but it was too late. 
I charge in the cap. Ah, uh, you're soaking wet. Himatsu wins. Uh, I lost? You lose. I see. So that was your plan. Wonko, nice acting back there. I felt a little bit too well and started bleeding. Thanks. A little hard work, and I can do everything. Stay still, Wonko. I can't treat you if you keep moving. <laughs> oh, the disinfectant stings so much. Yamato was good to see out there, Kuri. But you lost because of your mistake. After I saw Dog fall, I let my guard down. Had I continued at full speed, I would not have lost. That is my failing. Do you... Do you understand my talents now? Yes. Forgive me, you have strength in you. I realize now just how inexperienced I really am. That's all I ask. That's all I... I slumped to the ground. Oh, I thought he pushed himself to his limit. I'll tend to him. First, I need to take his temperature. And why does that require you to put your hand down your down his crutch? <laughs> when one of them arrives, I'll greet him with a smile and say, "Here's the question." How is that, Matsukazi? How am I doing? You're getting good. I knew it had in you, girl. That, whatever that word is, get the summer bleach all to yourself. The summer beach all to yourself. I read out the per. I read read out the per question perfectly. Read out the question perfectly. Our hero of the day, Mayuchi. Hey, the match already ended. He wants to get her up. <laughs> Bye, Miyuchi. Alright, with that being said, this episode has gone on for a bit too long now. I want to do the whole competition in one episode. So, that being said, I hope you got, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully enough to leave a like on it, it really helps me out. That being said though, I'll see you guys soon. Take care guys, and thank you for watching.